You may recognize her from her Tony Award winning role in Into the Woods and him from his memorable role in Dog Day Afternoon. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're getting a glimpse into the film and theater industries from Joanna Gleason and Chris Sarandon. Before you guys have worked in stage, you've worked on television, you've worked on film. Do you have a favorite out of the three and what do you find the most challenging? The favorite is the most challenging because it's the theater and the challenge, the thrill about it is everything you think it is. The curtain goes up, you hear the audience and you know, I still get quite emotional. And the challenge is that it's eight shows a week, it's six days a week, it's everything you can possibly bring to it. For me, I don't really have a favorite because I, I find all three in a way thrilling. So Chris, I would like to know how do you make a role that is perhaps brief, like Leon in Dog Day Afternoon, so memorable. Well, I, so I have to listen to it. I can't, no. But I, I can't survive in prison. You don't really think that way. Basically, you're trying to, um, you're trying to create what's on the page. And in that case, uh, what was on the page was really quite extraordinary. I'd like to speak a bit about your role as uh, the baker's wife in Into the Woods, for which you won several awards. How did you make this character your own? She was my own because no one had ever played her before. There are rights and wrongs and in-betweens. No one waits when fortune intervenes. I, I got into a zone playing that role, the zone where you, suddenly you don't have to manage every moment. You don't have to make up for material that doesn't work. You don't have to plan anything, plan to get a laugh or anything, because it was just all there. And the night was so enchanted. Everybody in that show was magnificent and enchanted that it just sort of became easy to do. If the end is right, it justifies the bees. You played uh, Prince Humperdinck in The Princess Bride, and this is a movie that has pretty much become a cult classic these days. A technicality that will shortly be remedied. But first things first. To the death. No! To the pain. I don't think I'm quite familiar with that phrase. Does the success of the film surpass your expectations? And do you feel, well, is it a movie that you hold dear to your heart as well? It's become extraordinary, really, the, the reach of the movie, because uh, young people like it for certain reasons. Older people like it because they can sit and watch it with, with their kids, get something different out of it. The humor is uh, more adult at some point for, for adults. So. Uh, I didn't have any expectations for it, and I'm thrilled that it's turned out the way it has. So you both have lent your voices to animated productions. Chris, uh, most notably as uh, Jack Skellington in Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Not anymore. And I feel so much better now. You have done um, Maddie Platter as uh, King, King of the Hill. Do not say can't. You will not use contractions in this house. How is voice acting different in terms of being on screen? There, there's no difference except you can wear your pajamas. I mean, that's really the big difference is you can show up looking like you look at, you know, at 7 o'clock in the morning and go have a good time. It's somewhat different in the sense that generally it's a little more exaggerated. I was wondering if it, you guys found it easier or more difficult to work with someone you love, especially if it's a partner or a spouse. Well, what do you think? Well, we, the we, first time we worked together, we, we hadn't... We, we uh, when we went in into love. rehearsal, yeah. we were falling in love. Yeah. So it seemed like a natural sort of progression. That is, uh, um, every time we've worked together since, it... it we've been it, more and more married. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrone, you know how much I love watching you work. But I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilda to frame for it. I'm swamped. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stephanie.